This summer, I tested some extremely powerful nootropics, some potentially dangerous nootropics, and some nootropics that I'm still not so sure about. Now, I've been using only a few of them ever since, and I'll probably avoid at least one of them. Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Greg Gostinkar, and I'm the founder of Your Inception. On this channel, we cover everything from brain supplements to psychedelics. Now, if that interests you, then be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. It's been a while since I talked about new nootropics I've been testing and experimenting with, so it's time to talk about that. I get new supplements and nootropics sent to me almost on a weekly basis, so I can tell you that if an inspection comes into my house, they'd think I'm the new Walter White from the Breaking Bad series, especially if they open one of my closets where I hid the real stuff. Anyway, back to the topic. Let me share with you more about the nootropics. Now, there's at least one nootropic on the list that I definitely don't recommend, so stay with me till the end. I want to start first with Alpinia galanga. Now, this is a plant in the ginger family that has quite a nice sweet taste, but that's not why it caught my attention. Now, you may not know it, but this is an extremely powerful nootropic. Research shows that supplementing Alpinia can help with boosting your cognition, with fighting inflammation, improving your immune system, protecting against cancer, and has a few other benefits. Now, even though this is not a very popular nootropic yet, it is extremely healthy, so definitely want to consider supplementing. In terms of the short-term effects, don't expect anything special, but this is one of those long-term tropics that the longer you take, the better it makes you feel. Now, I look at it as a more of a healthy vitamin than a strong brain booster, but that's just me. The recommended daily intake is about three to six grams of root powder. And if you wanna buy it, of course, I'll put some links below in the description. The next nootropic I've been experimenting with is Cordyceps. Yeah, if you watched the show The Last of Us, then I know what you're thinking. And if you didn't watch it, what are you waiting for? Well, Cordyceps is one of the most popular mushrooms used in traditional Chinese medicine that has multiple benefits. I primarily use it for boosting my energy because some studies show that Cordyceps can improve physical performance. And I must say that after a few weeks of use, I felt stronger, had more energy, and most importantly, I had fewer issues with fatigue, even after a harder workout or a longer bike ride. Now, this is a great 100% natural booster, and that's what I really like about it. Now, Cordyceps also has a few other benefits, like it may help with anti-aging, um, it may benefit your heart health, it may reduce inflammation, etc. The typical daily dosage is around three to six grams of a powder, and that should provide the benefits I talked about. Keep in mind that cordyceps tastes like a mushroom, because that's what it is. So when you take it in powder form, it's way better to combine it with cacao, for example. And if you want to learn more about it, you can watch my video up here. By the way, are you on the lookout for the best nootropics to boost your brain performance, but don't know where to start? Take a look at our free nootropics quiz, link below, to get personalized recommendations that will be the perfect choice for you. The next nootropic I tested this summer was astragalus. Now, astragalus is a herb used in traditional Chinese medicine for several reasons. Now, what caught my attention was its effect on improving chronic fatigue. I've been working really hard in the past year or so, and I got to a level where I was so tired, even after a whole weekend off, you know, nothing could really help me. And that's when someone mentioned astragalus, and I decided to try it out. Now, I used astragalus daily for a few months or so, and the results were quite interesting. Now, while it is hard to say it improved my immunity, since I rarely get sick nowadays, I definitely felt more energized and also more productive. To be completely honest with you, the effects were quite weak, but I think astragalus is one of those healthy herbs with so many health benefits that just makes sense taking it every now and then. I also believe that the feeling of reduced fatigue was more of a positive side effect than a direct effect astragalus had on my body. Now, during the test, I was taking a small dosage of about 300 milligrams of a potent extract, which seemed to do the work. After astragalus, I experimented with acetyl L-carnitine. Now, this amino acid is naturally produced by our body. So why would anyone supplement it? Well, because it may support our brain function. Now, this study, for example, shows that supplementing acetyl L-carnitine may prevent age-related mental decline 
and also improve markers of learning. Then this study shows that Alcar significantly improved brain function in people with dementia. But then a 2017 review of two studies showed no effects on brain performance on young, healthy adults. And that kind of makes sense to me. If you're healthy, you probably don't need to supplement Alcar. As a matter of fact, regular supplementation can increase TMAO, which can lead to atherosclerosis, something you definitely want to avoid. But an occasional use of Alcar, especially for potentially boosting your exercise performance, may be okay. Now, I know I'll probably not use Alcar as an individual nootropic because I just don't need it. But if it's a part of a more complex stack and the dosage is small, then I guess that's fine. If you want to learn more about it, watch my video up here. By the way, guys, if you like this video, please press the like button below. And then there is Chaga, yet another nootropic that was on my menu this summer. Now, Chaga is a fungi that has been used for centuries in Siberia. Now, this is a very powerful adaptogen which means it helps your body adapt to stress. And of course, it can help you boost your brain performance. It can help with energy, with well-being, etc. And based on my experience, Chaga can do all of that. Now, Chaga is not the most powerful nootropic in terms of the short-term uh, brain boosting effects. But if you're committed to long-term brain performance, Chaga is definitely one of the nootropics I'd add on the list. Now, I've been drinking powdered Chaga for a few months now and I definitely recommend it. It has quite an interesting taste, it's very unique. And again, if you combine it with a few other powders, like cacao, for example, it becomes quite delicious. The general recommended daily dosage is between 500 and 1,500 milligrams daily, or a bit less if you take a potent extract. Now, during the test, I took a potent extract of 10 to 1, which I generally prefer than taking just standard powders. Now, as you saw, I've tested a few amazing tropics this summer, and some of them, like Cordyceps, Alpinia Galanga, and Chaga, will definitely be on my nootropic menu more often. Whereas I think I'll avoid taking Alcar as an individual nootropic. And if you wonder which nootropic stacks I like the most, then check out my video up here. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you soon again. Stay well.